I'm Chris Katolka with the Friends of Israel, and this is an Eye on the Middle East. Recently, Israeli National Security Minister Itamar Ben-Gavir visited the Temple Mount, which is the most holy site to the Jewish people. His 15-minute walk atop the sacred site created an international controversy. Within hours of his visit, intense condemnation came from the countries of Jordan, the UAE, and Saudi Arabia, with calls to maintain status quo heard from the US and Europe, while the Palestinian Authority said it's a plot to turn Al-Aqsa into a Jewish temple. The issue boils down to a phrase used often in Israel called status quo, which means keeping things the way they are. Or as Miriam Webster puts it, status quo is the existing state of affairs. The Temple Mount status quo actually goes back to 1187 when the Muslim warrior Saladin beat back the Crusaders and retained control of Jerusalem. At that time, non-Muslims were permitted to enter the sacred compound, but only Muslims were permitted to pray. Fast forward to the Six Day War in 1967 after Israel seized the Old City and East Jerusalem. It agreed to maintain the status quo, recognizing the risk of igniting a religious war if anything were changed. Jordan was given special responsibility for overseeing the Muslim holy sites via the Waqf, which is an Islamic trust. Ben Gavir isn't the first Israeli politician to visit the Temple Mount. In fact, in 2000, the late Ariel Sharon walked the holy site, which led to an intifada between the Israelis and Palestinians. The Waf says that Israel has been slowly chipping away at the rules of status quo, with increasing numbers of religious Jewish people visiting the area and many of them secretly praying. A spokesperson for the White House National Security Council warned against any steps that would jeopardize the status quo and said the U.S. expects Netanyahu to uphold it, saying, quote, any unilateral action that jeopardizes the status quo is unacceptable. Well, here's my take. Ben Gavir is certainly a man of many controversies, but a Jewish man taking a stroll on the most holy site to the Jewish people should not be controversial at all. The international outrage sparked by Ben Gavir's presence shows that the international community is okay with intolerance and bigotry as long as outrage is directed at Israel.